Today we'll be discussing the Q, the uh, Fluid Scan Q1000 Q1100. Uh, this is a portable unit unit that does not require any kind of solvent or uh, large amount of consumables. Um, it is used to bring out into a lab to use infrared spectroscopy to measure absorbance to for training purposes on the chemistry of oil. Uh, to simply state through it is you can turn the unit on, which takes only a couple seconds. From the beginning, you have the source that creates a IR laser that is, is pushed through the flip top flow cell. You place a single drop onto the flow cell that when the IR goes through, measures the absorbance and shows this resulting spectra. Due to algorithms we have through the unit, the spectra is then uh, recorded and we'll be able to give specific results based on trending purposes on the oil. So to use the actual uh, sample, you'd start by going to measure, measure fluid and it will then prompt you to take a background. The background is to basically measure the background noise in, inherent in the unit and they will then subtract from this after the sample is taken to give a uh, actual result of what the absorbance is. Once it's done, we're going to hit OK. And it's going to go ahead and measure the background. You'll want to make sure that the flow cell is clean between each use as that will uh, affect the next test. So once the IR laser goes through the flip top cell, it's then going to go on to a, uh, the wedge portion of the device, which is going to break up into the spectra. Once the background measurement is complete, we're going to hit OK. It's going to prompt you to select the fluid that we have. Uh, this is a heavy engine oil that's used in the locomotive industry. Uh, before using the fluid scan, it is best to know exactly what you're going to be measuring against as it does compare the spectra between known fluids out there. So we're going to go to engine heavy duty and we're going to hit next. And we're going to select the oil that it is. This is Brad Penn DDS plus 9124. We're going to hit next. You have the option of putting in sample ID by hitting the edit button and then using the push keys to move to select exactly what you want to put in, which today we're going to say test one. And then we're going to hit next. Then it will ask you to place a sample on the cell. We're going to open up the flip top cell and we're only going to put a small drop. A pipette is not necessarily necessary. You can use a dipstick or anything else. Just enough to cover it when you close. We're going to lift that up and we're going to check to see if there's any air bubbles in the, in the uh, cell. If they're not invisible, we're going to hit close it. And we're going to hit OK. Now once the results come up, you'll see that each uh, there's a parameter that's listed on for each oil. Uh, these parameters are pre-selected based on the category the engine the oil is uh, belongs to. For example, for an engine oil, typically uh, standard industrial uh, parameters include glycol, nitration, oxidation, soot, sulfation, TBN, and water. Uh, this is important to note because for other industries such as hydraulic oils, soot would not be present parameter on there because it's never really 
of concern. So looking at this, you can then save the data and hit save. And once the save is complete, you have completed one test. It's quick, easy, and takes under five minutes.